the Philippine Air Force PAF will accept into service two new Turkish-made T-129 ATAC attack helicopters and a Japanese air surveillance radar system, ASRS, on DCP-20. Department of National Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr. will grace the commissioning and blessing rites as guest of honor and speaker at the Wallace Air Station, San Fernando City, La Union, the Air Force said in an advisory Monday night. The two T-129 helicopters were delivered last Novi 30 and are part of the six helicopter contract from Turkish Aerospace Industries. It is part of Horizon 2, phase of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, modernization program with a contract worth USD 269 million, around PHP 14.9 billion, signed on July 20th, 2020. The T-129 helicopters are based on the Agusta Westland A-129 Mangusta design. The new assets will complement a pair of refurbished Bell AH-1S Huey Cobra attack helicopters from Jordan along with armed light observation and transport helicopters in PAF's inventory. The first two T-129s were delivered last March 9, 2022, while the second batch of two were delivered in December of that year. These helicopters will be used for territorial defense, aerial surveillance and reconnaissance, counterinsurgency combat operations and combat support operations. It can also be used for close air support, precision strike, deep strike, suppression of enemy air defense, security, urban warfare and air-to-air -air warfare. The T-129 is a twin-engine, tandem-seat, multi-role, all-weather attack helicopter and armed with a variety of guns, rockets, missiles, sensors and targeting systems. It has a cruising speed of 120 knots and a range of 250 nautical miles. Meanwhile, the ASRS is part of the PAF's radar project signed on August 14, 2020. Japanese electronics firm Mitsubishi Electric Corporation bagged the PHP 5.5 billion ASRS deal. In another advisory Wednesday afternoon, the PAF announced that only the acceptance, turnover and blessing ceremonies for the ASRS will proceed on D-62 and blessing ceremonies for the ASRS will proceed on D-62, while those of the T-129s will be set on a later date. Tatanggapin ng Philippine Air Force, PF, sa serbisyo ang dalawang bagong Turkish na ginawang pinegatibo isang daan at dalawang putsyam attack attack helicopter at isang Japanese Air Surveillance Radar System, ASRS, sa Disyembre 20. Dadaluhan ni Department of National Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro Jr. ang commissioning at blessing rights bilang panauhin pandangal at tagapagsalita sa Wallace Air Station, San Fernando City, La Union, sinabi ng Air Force sa isang advisory lunes ng gabi. Ang dalawang tinegatibo isang daan at dalawang putsyam helicopter ay naihatid noong Nobyembre 30 at bahagi ng anim na helicopter na kontrata mula sa Turkish Aerospace Industries. Ito ay bahagi ng Horizon 2 Phase ng Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, modernization program na may kontrata na nagkakahalaga ng USD 266 milyon, halos PP 14.7 bilyon na nilagdaan noong Hulyo 2020. Ang tinegatibo 100 at 29 helicopters ay batay sa Agusta Westland ay negatibo 100 at 29 mangusta na disenyo. Makakadagdag ang mga bagong asset sa isang peras ng inayos na Bell 8 Negatibo isa at Stui Cobra Attack Helicopter mula sa Jordan, kasama ang Armed Light Observation at Transport Helicopter sa inventaryo ng PF. Ang unang dalawang T Negatibo isang daan at dalawang put siyam ay naihatid noong nakaraang Marso siyam, dalawang libo at dalawang put dalawa habang ang pangalawang batch ng dalawa ay naihatid noong Disyembre ng taong iyon. 
ang mga helicopter na ito ay gagamitin para sa territorial defense, aerial surveillance at reconnaissance, counterinsurgency combat operations, at combat support operations. Maaari rin itong gamitin para sa malapit na suporta sa hangin, precision strike, malalim na strike, pagsubko sa air defense ng kaaway, security urban warfare, at air-to-air -air warfare. Ang tinegatibo isang daan at dalawang putsyam ay isang twin engine, tandem seat, multi-role, all-weather attack helicopter, at armado ng iba't ibang baril, rocket, missiles, sensor at targeting system. Mayroon itong cruising speed na isang daan at dalawang puk knots, at may saklaw na dalawang daan at limang puk nautical miles. Samantala, ang SRS ay bahagi ng radar project ng PF na nilagdaan noong Agosto 14 na, dalawang libo, at dalawang puk. Nakuha ng Japanese electronics firm na Mitsubishi Electric Corporation ang EP 5.5 bilyon na SRS deal. Sa isa pang advisory ni Hercules ng hapon, inihayag ng PF na ang acceptance, turnover, at blessing ceremonies lamang para sa SRS ang magpapatuloy sa Disyembre 20, habang ang mga T-negatibo isang daan at dalawampu't siyam ay itatakda sa ibang araw.